Hi guys, there are some amazing journalists at the BBC and Victoria Derbyshire is one of them. She was here on Newsnight talking to North Yorkshire Tory MP Kevin Hollenrake, who attempted to defend Liz Truss's decision to first and foremost remove the cap on banker bonuses during a cost of living crisis. Remember, she's giving out sweeties to people who broke the economy and caused the Great Recession about 14 years ago. But while he was doing reasonably well for a politician, Victoria threw a spanner in the works, a big Brexit spanner. Have a listen to this. I just want to ask you about the news about the lifting of the cap on bankers' bonuses. Has that gone down well with your constituents in North Yorkshire? I don't, I don't deny it's a difficult political sell, depending how you, um, how, how you describe it, I suppose. But I think it does make sense to some extent. If you're in an internationally competitive market for investment from major banks, and that includes how much it costs to employ their people in different parts of the world. So uh, it, we are losing some bankers now, well-paid bankers, to the European Union. If we have a competitive advantage but in terms of... Is that because of, that's because world, of Brexit, isn't it, rather than the cap on bonuses? That, that is because of Brexit, you're right. But this is a way to be more competitive in Europe. In <laughs> OK, that's, it's amazing. That was a wonderful interview because he thought he was getting away with it. So obviously he started off by saying... Yeah, you know, it's a difficult sell, but let's look on the bright side. We're going to bring all these bankers back from Europe. You know, we're going to be able to be competitive again. Um, you know, ordinary people who are struggling, maybe they can just ignore that struggle for a moment and focus on you know, the benefit of getting these bankers back. And then Victoria brought up the perfect response to that. Well, this is because of Brexit. And Kevin had to say yes. Although Kevin was probably instructed not to say yes here because Brexit is not to be blamed for anything. So the reality is the bankers left because of Brexit, because it was more difficult to operate in the UK. And in a sense, because of Brexit, the UK government is going to remove these caps on banker bonuses to bring them back. Now, it's not going to bring them back. I've said before, the bankers can get round this problem by paying the staff more. So, you know, if, if an employee is on a million pounds a year, the wage just goes up. That was the way around the banker bonus cap. Uh, they were still getting bonuses, but there was a cap on the bonus. So the, the way around it is just to pay people a higher wage or a higher salary. And then you get around the problem. So this is just an attempt by Liz Truss to keep the people who donate to the party happy. You give us lots of money, we'll give you something in return. Now, politically, it's terrible because you shouldn't be doing this during a cost of living crisis. Look, if you're going to give the bankers their bonuses or remove this cap, do it later on in the year, not immediately when you become prime minister. I understand you want to keep these people happy, but you're not helping yourself here. Do it later on. Do it when the country is distracted. Do it during the coronation so that people are not actually looking at anything else. They'll be too distracted by the coronation. And the bankers, you know, they can survive. <laughs> I don't think they're struggling at the moment. They can survive another few months uh, with this cap in place. And as I said, the cap is pretty much pointless because there's a loophole. But the fact that Kevin here had to admit, yes, Brexit calls these bankers to leave, but don't worry, Brexit will allow us to bring them back and give them their bonuses, which he admitted himself at the beginning is a difficult political sell. I almost feel sorry for Kevin, but Kevin has a way out of this. He can join another party, join the Liberal Democrats, join the Greens, join the Labour Party, become an independent something. You know, he doesn't sound like a bad guy. I think he's been put in a position where he has to defend this. And even he sees the writing on the wall. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.